Let's talk about Tesla as we always do, but then I want to sort of broaden it out and talk about the markets and some of the other companies that you're invested in. There was an analyst call just yesterday, this is HSBC, which really uh, initiated coverage. They said that their price target was $146. I assume you probably looked at this and, and probably laughed given your very bullish views on Tesla. But what was so interesting about the report was that they really were trying to define the company as an EV automobile maker. Is that the way you think about this company? Welcome to Money and Investment, where your financial future starts today. Ever wondered why starting to invest when you're young is a game changer? Let's dive in. Investing in the stock market might seem daunting, but it's a powerful tool for building wealth. Why? It's all about time and compound interest. Starting young means more time for your investments to grow. Think of it like planting a tree. The earlier you plant, the longer it grows and the bigger it gets. Worried about risks? The earlier you start, the more time you have to recover and learn from market ups and downs. And if you're starting at 50, no worries. It's about choosing the right strategy suited to your stage in life. I think about it as a technology company that's providing services to other their own company and to others. They can't possibly be matched by anyone else. Um, they have data, technology, they make cars cheaper than anyone. When Ford makes one of these cars, an electric car, every car they make, they lose $36,000 on. $36,000 per car. Our company now makes about eight or $9,000 in profit a car. They were making $15,000 in profit a car. But if they build a plant that costs $7 billion for a million cars, that plant was making $15 million a year, uh, $15 billion a year on a $7 billion investment. $15 billion on a $7 billion investment. An ordinary industrial company would make 15% on capital, 20% the most. This guy's making his capital twice a year. Now he's making it once a year. He's making $8 billion in a $7 million plant. So he's the lowest cost person. Everything about the business is trying to drive prices lower. In the 1900s, early 1900s, the automobile companies were tremendous innovators. Uh, no longer is the case. In the 1950s, they decided they were going to go for profitability, and they outsourced all of their supply chain to their detriment. And all these companies went bankrupt, hundreds of them went bankrupt. And now uh, the way we're going is that their electric cars, they drive, um, I guess they have about 30 miles a day, 30 or 40 miles a day, and they have five, three million of them that are collecting data. 100 million miles a day they're getting for data, and then they're also getting compute that they're gonna have more compute than anyone in the world in 18 months So to we train it. Have you been surprised, and this is true of the other EV makers, a lot of EV makers have put up big goals in terms of sales, and then they've scaled those, the, those goals back, saying there's just not the customer demand. Do you, Do you think, think that, that is the responsibility or a function of the products that these other automakers are putting out? Or do you think that there actually isn't the demand for EVs writ large that maybe was anticipated or expected? There's a billion and a half cars that have to be, get replaced. Uh, they do about 80 million cars a year, and a small percentage of those, 10%, are electric right now. Uh, ultimately, it's going to be all electric. Uh, but the, rise, the reason there's not more demand is the cars that are out there are not very attractive by the dealers, you know, the, by the car companies, and they're expensive, number two. And then in addition to that, the dealers who sell them, they don't want to sell them because there's nothing to service. The dealers make all their money on servicing. So dealers sell them, right. they're not selling them. You talked about trying to bring prices down, and that's something that Elon Musk has talked a lot about. At the same time that he's going to try to bring prices down, you have the, poten the, the, the potential for Tesla to become a target of the UAW, which of course just made this new deal uh, with the other big automakers at meaningfully higher prices in terms of what those employees are going to be getting. What do you think about that? I think Tesla's employees are the highest paid workers in the world, as far as the automobile companies go, because they own stock. As a function of the stock. And uh, that stock option would not be present in all instances if it were a unionized company. When the unions were in control of Fremont, as soon as they had trouble, they ran from it. Tesla took over that plant in Fremont after the unions had left, after the company had gone bankrupt. There, there's a, a good story that uh, one of the executives who devised the pay plan for the employees was telling me that he's a small Jewish guy like me, and he was walking through a plant, and a large black man walks over to him, shaved head, tattoos all over the place, and says, Ira, Ira, are you the man uh, who devised the pay plan for us? And uh, he says, yes. He said, I want you to know that I'm the first man in my family, the first person in my family to ever be able to afford a home. And thank you very much. 
And so the workers there make more than anyone else by far. And their health care, all the benefits are better. The unions have been trying to organize Tesla, Toyota, all the foreign right. companies for years. They failed repeatedly. Why? Because those companies are not, the union's not in business to keep the employees. Their unions have the power. Right. By the Second. way, the stock went down yesterday, not yep. because of that report. Okay. It went what do you down think it was? Because of, of Joe Biden, President Biden, who, by the way, I love what he's doing for Israel, but I don't like that much what he's doing in business. Uh, but he's the one who said unions should organize Tesla. That's what happened yesterday when the stock went down. Yeah, Ron, thanks for taking my question. Um, you know, when you think about China, how, how do you think about the growth there? Because that's a key piece to the Tesla story. Lee Auto reported uh, its earnings yesterday and had strong EV guidance. It's gaining market share. I'm just wondering how you think about the competition, but also the weakening Chinese consumer. And have you discounted that portion of the Tesla story at all, given the, the Chinese economic forecasts out there? Tesla right now is doing about a million eight cars a year. When we started investing in the company seven years ago, when we invested between 2014 and 2016, they were doing 41,000 cars a year. So 41,000 cars a year to a million eight, they're on their way to 20 million cars. China is about a million right now, of their two million eight. A large percentage of what they make in China is exported from China to Europe. And uh, the more they build in Europe, of course, the more they're gonna save on transportation costs and duties. Uh, the idea is that China, uh, invited Musk in and invited him in because the Chinese car companies have done very poorly for a long time and the promise was that he's going to help them uh, become better car manufacturers and going to be, he's not trying to take over the market in China, better car manufacturers and develop a local supply chain. And so he was the only one that's ever been invited into China that's been able to not have a partner, a local partner to operate their business. So I'm convinced that they have good operations in China. The person who runs their Chinese business, the, uh, the Tesla business in, uh, uh, in Austin, in fact, is probably in line to be an important person uh, at Tesla overall. He's now, he's Chinese and he runs, he was brought from China to, to Texas and uh, uh, runs the business there. He's going to be in charge of all the automobile business. So I think the relations they have with China are exceptionally good. Uh, uh, they're both people are getting something from it. Uh, and I think that that business will continue to grow, but he's going to open plants all around the world uh, for low-cost cars. And wait till you see what's going to happen when all of a sudden they start selling cars instead of for $40,000 a piece, for $25,000 a piece, which is going to happen in the past a year, year and a half uh, from their new model. The new model, they think, is going to do 5 million cars a year. 5 million cars a year for the Model 2. That's coming. Ready to start your investment journey? Explore our channel for more insights on making smart, informed investment choices. Remember, it's never too late or too early to start investing in your future. Join us at Money and Investment for more tips and tricks on building your wealth. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out.